Hi there, welcome to No Nonsense Whiskey. My name is Vin PF, and on today's episode, we're going to be covering another wee little sample that I picked up on my various travels. In fact, I've had this one so long, I can't even remember where I got it from. Probably some airport or some little shop somewhere. What I tend to do whenever I find a nice little whiskey shop or a wine shop that sells whiskey in a little town or something like that, I don't really feel like buying a full bottle. I'll tend to go in there and drop a couple of quid on a couple of little samples for the channel stuff that I haven't covered yet, things that I can cover whenever. And this has been sat on my shelf for so long that I was afraid it would become irrelevant, but it seems to be something that's still going strong, which is good. I like that. This is the Compass Box Great King Street Glasgow Blend. Now, I did cover the Artist Blend a long, long, long time ago. You can go and check that out back in the, in the channel if you want to check out my feelings on that. But although these are under the same sort of moniker, the Great King Street, very different beasts, although you'll see the similarities that come with them. It's probably because of the, the vast amount of Cameron Bridge that's in these that they've kind of made them the, the same bracket almost. What we've got here is a blend from Compass Box, 43%, natural coloured, non-chill filtered, 35 quid for a 70 centilitre bottle. Now when this first came out, years and years ago, I remember seeing it at a festival and uh, I remember being perplexed about how they could produce such a good blended whiskey. At the time, it was about 25 quid. Now, that's because it was a half litre bottle back then. You can still get those half litre bottles, especially for this one, I think. Maybe the other ones have sold out a little bit. But yeah, if you're looking around, you can still find those half litres. If you're not sure about trying something like this yet, then go and check out one of the half litres for 25 quid, which is an absolute bargain, I think. You can think of it like a kind of boutique whiskey kind of thing. You know, they're selling half litres for quite a lot of money sometimes, but they're always good value, typically, typically. Now, the best thing I like about covering Compass Box, and I really should do more of them, is that they're complete transparency, maybe apart from the different ages that they have on their website. For instance, I'll chuck this up on the screen, I imagine, but here we can see the exact percentages that are going into this of all the different barrels, casks, whatever, they might be blended, they might be batched, there might be all this kind of stuff, but you can see it on there. And they don't tell us the ages that are on there for these ones, but I think we can forgive them for that. So I'll do a quick run through about what's in this versus the artist blend, and we'll see where we're at with it. So this one has 35% Camembridge grain in it, and that used to be in a first fill ex-bourbon barrel. Then there was 34% Abelard in there, that's a sherry butt. Then 18% Laphroaig, that's a refill ex-bourbon barrel. 10% Klein Leash, first fill bourbon. Pretty good stuff going in there straight away. And then they have this Highland Blend at the bottom. It's 3% Highland Blend, which has got Klein Leash, Tien Inch in it, and Dal Ewan, which has been finished for two years in French Oak Hybrid Barrel. Ooh. Now, if you compare that to the Artist Blend, Instead of 35% Cameron Bridge, it's got 46% Cameron Bridge in it. And then it's up to 30% Klein Leash. And then 10% or 10% or 16%, something like that, Highland Blend. And then finally 8% Linkwood. Those percentages are a bit weird. Uh, I can't remember them exactly because they're point something, but I rounded them up because why not? I think that's probably about right. The other thing to say about these is you can round that off nicely without knowing all of that, knowing that the... Artist blend is rich, rounded and fruity, and this is bold, peaty and sherry, as says on the bottles. That's a lot of wittering. Let's get onto the whiskey itself and see if it really is worth the money. Today I've got a Spirit Works glass. That's a bar in Litchfield, so if you're in the Midlands, do go and check them out when we're all allowed out again. Onto the nose then. Now, because we know there's Lefroy in this, we can expect a little bit of peat. But what I can tell you, from my nose anyway, is that it's not that in your face. It's, there's definitely a whiff of smoke about it. I imagine that'll be a very heavy whiff to somebody who doesn't like peat that much. But for a, a peat lover like myself, very light on the peat. It's got a really nice kind of briny nose to it, a very citrusy nose, almost lemon-like. Let's try the palette. Now, using a word that they've put on here, bold. It's got, it's way more bold than I think it's got any right to be, to be fair, it's super bold. It's making me salivate just, just uh, drinking it. Starts out nice and sweet, 
then the spiciness kicks in and it just keeps going and going and going. Then the peat comes in. It's not as medicinal as I thought it is, but it is kind of ashy on the back end. The finish is kind of medium. I wouldn't say it's any longer than that. It is definitely spicy and tingly, kind of uh, cracked pepper kind of spices. But yeah, medium is as far as I'd want to go with that. Now, I'm a huge fan of this whiskey uh, to the point where I probably should have a bottle of it. It's just one of those things that keeps passing me by. I've got a lot of things to buy, so I don't uh, tend to buy this on a regular, but I have had a bottle in the past, many years ago before I started the channel. Now I've just got a little wee sample for you, but it's one of those whiskies that I think everyone needs to try uh, this one and the other, you know, the uh, the artist blend as well, depending on whether you like peat or not. These uh, little independent bottlers who are doing blends themselves, a little bit like Douglas Lang and their Remarkable Regional Malts, absolutely superb whiskies for about that £35 mark. It's a no age statement, sure, but when you're getting some uh, some real high quality whiskies in here, like for instance, like again, your Laphroaig and the Klein Leash, you know, it's a superb thing. I mean, there's a lot of Camembridge in this, a lot of grain, but for my palate, I'm not picking out any of those really iconic grain, like especially youthful grain, uh, like kind of acetone and kind of menthol notes and things like that. None of that's there. This has been blended to perfection. And to be honest with you, I think it's an absolute steal for 35 quid. Highly recommended by me. If you've been on the fence about a dram like this for a while, I, I think you should just go and get a bottle. To be honest, that's my opinion. You can sort of think of it like a boutique... A boutique 